Okay, so let's learn how to open our first project in App Inventor. This may seem like a pretty easy thing to do, but even if you've opened several projects in App Inventor, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm going to give you a really neat trick that'll save you a ton of time in creating apps later on. So the first thing we want to do is go to the URL appinventorbeta.com. Once you're there and you're logged into App Inventor, you want to click the, you guessed it, the new button. And you'll see here that a project name box appears, and we can type in the name of our project. And the first app we're going to work on in this course is called Android Zoo. So I've got my name in there, Android Zoo, and you'll notice that I didn't put any spaces in my project name. And that's because App Inventor will not accept spaces in your project name, and it'll tell you so if you try to use it. However, one thing you can do is use an underscore in between your words to denote a space in between the words. And you can just put your underscore in thusly, and then we'll click OK. And now you'll see that we're taken to our components viewer, so it actually opens up our project for us with no further action. Now to get back to your list of projects, all you need to do is go up here to the top left and click on My Projects, and there we'll see we have Android Zoo listed. If you want to continue working on an app that you have in a list here, you simply click on the name of the app, click on Android Zoo, and it'll take you back to your components editor. Now here's that tip I told you about at the beginning of the video that's going to save you a lot of time in the future. What you can do is save a copy of any project by clicking the Save As button and choosing a different name. So for example, I'm going to call this one instead of Android Zoo, I'm going to call it Omaha Zoo. And then I'll click OK. Now when we go back to my projects, we'll see that I have Android Zoo and Omaha Zoo. Now why in the world, you may be asking, would you want to copy an app that you've already done? And the answer to that question is that you may want to use that function to create a second app with the same basic components of the first app, but with some variations that make it different from the original. This will allow you to save a ton of time rebuilding an app from scratch and rather allow you to make a few modifications and deploy an entirely new app. So for example, if you had already created your Android Zoo app and you wanted to create a new app that was similar but customized for the Omaha Zoo, then you would just copy your Android Zoo app, call it Omaha Zoo, and then you just need to go into your components editor and change a few names. And then when you go to the blocks editor, you can simply swap out a few blocks or change a few names, and voila, you have an entirely new app. I've done this with a few apps I have on the Android market, and I've been able to create four or five versions of a particular type of app. And instead of spending 10 or 12 hours creating the app from scratch, it may take me an hour to just change the names and swap out a few blocks. If you thought this was pretty cool, why don't you check out our online App Inventor training course at androidapptraining.com and get started creating your own Android apps, even if you're not a computer programmer.